Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we will learn about Microsoft Intune licensing. In the recent past, Microsoft has introduced different plans for Microsoft Intune licensing. So we would cover all of those options that are available as and today. By default, these are the normal products that you might be purchasing. So when you have these uh, these products you might be already thinking that you have Intune license but in reality Intune comes with a different flavors so having Intune licenses is something like a core and on top of it you have different features to use those features you might need to have a different Intune plans to be purchased as an additional purchasing options so in your company if you have any of these licenses yes you are eligible to use the Microsoft Intune but that doesn't mean that you can enjoy all the Microsoft Intune features the being said let's learn what are those features how we can you know se uh, segregate it so if you look at Microsoft actually uh, sells their product uh, Microsoft Intune as a licensing the base product uh, what we uh, call is the Microsoft Intune plan plan one uh, which is costing eight dollars so if you want additional features you have to add eight dollars plus you need to purchase something called Intune plan 2 if you're trying to use all of the features then you need to buy Microsoft Intune suite so this is costing the plan one cost plus additional ten dollars so close to eighteen dollars would be the cost so you can straightforward skip the plan two. so we would be you know, discussing what are those features, how these additional features can help you so that you can better understand about the licensing. So before that, let me open up Microsoft documentation. So here is a documentation that I have been you know, referring. So if you could see the first plan, which we talk about the Intune plan one, which is costing $8, uh, this is going to provide you the cross-platform uh, endpoint management, which means your Windows, Linux, Chrome, iOS, Android devices can be managed. So this is a core functionality of the Intune can be managed. And also it has a, it has a built-in endpoint security and also MAM capabilities. So you could, you know, protect the data on the client machines or the, on the mobile devices, not to copy, not to take a screenshots all of that capabilities are available along with that endpoint analytics which gives you the endpoint or end user specific adoption scoring based mechanism that will give you uh, insights uh, for measuring your organization how it is working comparatively same size of other organization what are the bottleneck issues that end users devices are facing or the users are facing how many times the application is getting crashed all that um, can be you know proactively uh, you could you know collect that information so that you could you know save a lot of costs on a help desk tickets so that would be the endpoint analytics so I, I was talking about the endpoint analytics as a base functionality but if you go with this Microsoft Intune suite uh, you have additional capabilities uh, within this called advanced endpoint analytics so this is an additional add-on to the core capabilities of endpoint analytics and if you have a configuration manager and the devices are managed with a co-managed then you are eligible to use the Intune license since you already bought the SCCM license but the device must be in a co-managed uh, configuration then uh, it it makes easy for us and uh, just in case if you want to buy additional features you can you know uh, buy as additional bundles also for some of them so let's go back to the slide so we talked about the Intune plan one so plan one has the core functionality of Microsoft Intune uh, this plan is already bundled with Microsoft 365 E3, E5, F1, F3, any of these licenses if you have, that means you have a plan one. And also if you are using already E3, E5, this also covers the plan one. And the cost would be close to $8. So Microsoft also come up with a plan two, uh, which is a add-on on top of 
your plan one you need to purchase by paying additional four dollars so that you could you know get a additional features so what are those additional features are if you look at the microsoft documentation so once you purchase this plan one in a plan two you would be getting the a vpn tunnel for your mobile application management let's say you are using android or ios device and your application definitely required to connect to your corporate network so that the application can show the corporate data for example you have some kind of you know sales funnel or sales application which you your company has developed and to work that it only works in a corporate network so that application has a capability uh, or within the VPN capabilities can be added so that the application when it is trying to connect it will dial to the VPN and it can be open on your Android or iOS devices so this is called the Microsoft Intune tunnel for mobile application management this is additional feature that can be part of your plan to or Intune suite so if you are just only concentrating an additional four dollar to pay any of these uh, three features you should be you know, buying them and next feature would be the into management of specialty devices when we say specialty devices let's say you bought a device based license for your conferencing room uh, room devices then you might be you know, using this additional license or you could you know look for a special devices like vr or smart home devices or headsets these are the additional you uh, know devices that you wanted to manage then you might have to end up with specialty devices specific you know feature can only be available with the intune plan 2 and the last feature within the microsoft intune plan 2 would be firmware over the air so this is additional feature there are a couple of supported devices that are available with the, with the help of microsoft intune you could even update the firmware so if that is the case you might you know using additional licensing is required apart from that you also have intune suite this is the full set of intune features so if you have uh, the eight dollar with the plan one along with that ten dollar then you would be using all the intune specific features which covers almost everything there's and also the future development products also would be part of this microsoft intune suite so if you look at one of the feature would be intune remote help so straight from microsoft intune portal you can offer the remote help to your end users if you want that you could bundle this within microsoft intune suite if you want additional uh, component on your base plan which is an intune plan one you might have to you know paying additional three dollar to use only the specific feature same thing goes additional three dollar for your uh, intune endpoint privilege management it is a uh, great feature that is going to allow you for the standard users to perform elevation approvals for their a company for example for a temporarily you want to grant a local admin permissions that is possible with this feature and we talked about in the uh, beginning about the Microsoft adoption scoring for your end users how they are performing their applications their startup all of that is covered in the Microsoft endpoint analytics so on top of that if you are looking for a additional reports or additional user improvement experiences then you would be you know, using the endpoint analytics so we have a dedicated section on endpoint analytics and also we did talk about advanced analytics topics within that lecture so that cost additional five dollar if you do not want to pay this ten dollar or just you just wanted to use that feature so when you purchase as the full suite you would be you know, saving a lot and also additional uh, feature would be the your enterprise application and also your cloud pki so which is going to come up sooner as the additional uh, feature which is going to come up uh, in the 2024 third quarter or fourth quarter we can expect this feature uh, that's why you know you can always refer to microsoft intune uh, plan and pricing feature so that you could always look at here if the pricing changes or the new features has been added so we did talked about all of these features 
uh, as Microsoft offers three different plans with the base plan as the Microsoft Intune plan one. So most of the people, they do not call as the plan one. Instead, they simply call as Microsoft 365 E3, E5, F1 or F3. Or they say that, hey, I have the EMS E3 license or E5 license. Means, you know, you would be covering all of these features. So, and people, sometimes they may or may not by intentionally Intune license, they simply buy E3 or E5 that includes this Intune license also. So if you want to know a detailed comparison on what are the licensing that are available and they are covered, you can always visit to a website called m365maps.com, which is going to talk about a great comparison. But look at here if a re whether this site is recently updated or not, because sometimes this information might be outdated, but Trust me, most of the people would refer to this. So if you are just you know, looking for E3 example, you just click on that. It would you know cover what all the features are covered with the E3. Similarly, in our case, it's an Intune. So this is how it will looks like. So you have a different plan for plan one for education. For that, MAM applications can be managed along with the autopilot device management capabilities application management can be done but you cannot you know, use additional features like endpoint analytics all of that which we did not talk about the intune uh, plan one for education i'm going to talk on that in the next slide uh, but these are the additional information that you could get it directly if you visit the m365maps.com so it's not just for intune license any of the microsoft licenses mostly it would be covered so that you will not have any kind of you know confusion that being said let's have a look on additional licensing so which we just now covered all this intune uh, plan one and uh, microsoft uh, intune plan one for education which covers additional licensing now when we look at as a consolidated you would be you know, purchasing Intune Plan 1 or Plan 2 or Microsoft Intune Suite along with these additional features you would be you know, getting. But for universities and schools, they might be you know, purchasing Education A5 or A3, which you could you know, look at here in Microsoft 365 Education Plan. So A5 includes everything from Microsoft Intune and other Microsoft products also it covers. Now, when we talk about config MGR specific, the devices that are co-managed, no need to additional, uh, no need to add additional licensing. They are built-in included licensing. However, to work the autopilot or automatic enrollment, you need to have Microsoft Azure AD P1 license, or you call it as Microsoft Entra P1 license. So without that, the pilot, autopilot or your auto enrollment doesn't work. So one or other way, Microsoft always cross sell their products. Apart from these licensing options, you have a final additional licensing option is a device only license. Let's say your company is more focused on device based, not on a user based. If that is the case, you could you know, use the device-based subscription. That's called the device-only license. So by going to the device-only license, you would you know, definitely lose some additional features like user-based assignments doesn't work and especially app protection policies, conditional access. Uh, these are the you know, couple of them doesn't work. Like you know, you cannot use these features but you could you know use these device based licensing for your kiosk devices or dedicated devices or phone room devices or iot or single uh, use case for example a visitor management so in the in that situations you would be you know, able to use the device only license and if you have a final question do i need to have a license to work as the Intune admin, you don't need to have a license. However, think about you are actually privileged to manage all these devices, meaning you have a full control on those devices. So to work on those devices, you might need to have Microsoft Entra P1 or P2 license. Otherwise, 
your security will be under risk. You may be you know, thinking, hey, you are talking about a lot of other licensing. Do I get any trial license? Yes, you can get the trial license. You can check out the next lecture. When you sign up for the uh, trial, you would be you know, getting the plan one only license. However, you could extend that license with EMS, E3, E5. That includes your uh, Microsoft Entra P1 and P2 licensing. On top of it, you could even give it try additional licensing like Plan 2 or Intune uh, Suite. These are the additional licensing can be done. If you want to view your current licenses, you can always navigate to admin.microsoft.com forward slash admin portal and navigate to your building under license. You would be you know, listed here all the available license. In my case, I have the Microsoft 365 E5 licensing and this is one possible option. If you want to you know, view additional licensing directly from Microsoft Intra, you can navigate to Microsoft Intra ID and click on licensing and navigate to all products. So you would be you know, able to see here your current licenses. You could also give it a try by cl clicking on here, additional licenses or additional products can be given tried. And if you want to know view for a user specific license, you can always click on a user, in this case, Chris, and click on license. You should be able to see here the current licenses. So in this case, he has the Microsoft 365 E5. And if you click on that E5, you would you know, get all additional licensing with the single plan of E5. He is capable to use all these features. Uh, out of this, one of the feature would be Microsoft Enter ID P1, P2, and also you would be you know, getting the Intune Plan 1 license. It's good to you know, check always the Microsoft documentation as it will constantly added additional licensing options and additional features. They can be part of any of the bundled since Microsoft Intune is a SASP 